All right, so we're ready to create our paint application. As usual, I'm at the Scratch homepage and we're going to start by creating an empty project. Then we are going to create the sprites for the project and then we are going to program them. We're not going to do everything in this video, but until the end of the chapter, we will have our full application. So let's go to our stuff and let's create a new project. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with this little cat sprite that we programmed right at the beginning of the course, but I want you to delete the sprite by clicking this little X button right over here. Now, we need to create all the sprites for our application. So go ahead and hover your mouse over this little cat icon over here and choose paint. So we've created a sprite, but it has no costumes and we need to import them. So Hover your mouse over this little cat icon right over here and choose a costume. And then we will need to search for a pencil. I will pick this pencil B costume. So notice that as soon as I click on the pencil, it has imported this pencil as another costume for this sprite. I will click search again and I will search for wand and I will select magic wand here. So we have two costumes for the sprite. Actually, we have three costumes because the first one is just white or doesn't contain anything. So I want you to go ahead and delete this and let's go ahead and modify the two costumes that we have for our cursor for the pencil sprite because one of them is too big and one of them is too small. So go ahead and click on the pencil B costume and I want you to go ahead and zoom into the pencil, hit control A or command A on the Mac. All right. And then I want you to go ahead and shrink the size of the pencil until it's just about this size on the stage. So look at the stage to see how big the pencil actually becomes. I'm actually going to shrink it a little bit more. So something maybe like this. And uh, then once you're satisfied with the size of the pencil, as the rectangle here in the sprite editor is still selected, go ahead and drag the pencil until the tip of the pencil is, and I'm going to zoom in very, very closely, the tip of the pencil should be right near the center of the sprite, this little cross icon, until it almost touches the center of the cross, but not quite. So I'm going to zoom in very, very closely. So notice that the tip of the pencil is right near the center of the cross, but not quite. So something like that, okay? Make sure that the positioning of the pencil sits right like I'm having it here on the screen. And then we need to do a similar thing with the magic wand costume, which is again, a bit too big. I'm zooming out here with this magnifying minus and plus icons. And I'm going to select the whole magic wand by hitting control A or command A. And then I'm going to drag this little icon below the rectangle. So this will allow me to rotate the costume until it's maybe inclined like this, maybe like the pencil. All right. And maybe shrink the size of it a little bit. Okay. So that it has roughly the same size as the pencil. And as we did with a pencil, I'm going to drag everything until the tip of the magic wand sits outside the cross here, which is the center of the sprite. Okay, so if I click on the pencil and the magic wand, alternatively on the screen, that should be roughly the same size. All right, so we've created our first sprite. Let's name this to pencil and hit enter. All right, so that's cool. Now we need to create additional sprites for the buttons from the application. So I'm going to hover on this little cat icon and I'm going to click on search. And I'm going to click on this little button three sprite. So this is an already made sprite with two costumes. If you click on the costumes tab, it has two costumes, one in gray and one in blue. And I'm going to delete the blue costume. So I'm going to leave 
just the gray costume. All right, then I'm going to go to code and I will program this to be a little smaller because it's quite big for my taste. So I'm going to go to events, then bring in the win flag clicked block and then go to looks. And then I'm going to bring in this purple set size to 100% and drag it right below when flag clicked. And instead of 100%, I'm going to set it to 50%. So twice as small. So if I hit the, on the flag, the button becomes smaller, just like this. All right. Then I'm going to position it here somewhere on the screen. And I'm going to specify some exact coordinates here. So I'm going to say negative 150 and negative 120. All right, so something like that. And we are going to duplicate this button and make a row of seven colors and then another row of five additional control buttons. But before that, I want to customize this button to show a bright red color in the middle of it. So I'm going to name this sprite red all right, and then I'm going to go back to costumes and then I'm going to just click inside the button, which will automatically select the rounded rectangle inside the button. And under this colored fill section, I'm going to click this left button, which fills it with a solid color. And I'm going to drag the first slider all the way to the left. The second slider almost to the right. So something like that and the third slider all the way to the right. So it's a bright red color. And for the other buttons, I'm just going to duplicate this red button. So I'm going to right click on the sprite and click on duplicate, which created another instance of the sprite. It's called red two. I'm going to rename it to orange. Okay, I'm going to move it next to the red button, I'm going to specify some exact coordinates, negative 100 and negative 120. So for the Y coordinate, I want it to have the same coordinate as the red button so that they're all in the same vertical position. All right. And then in the orange sprite, I'm just going to click on the red rectangle inside and I'm going to change the color to be an orange one. So uh, the first slider is going to be drawn a little bit to the right. So something like that. All right. And then all we need to do is duplicate one of these sprites for the other buttons as well. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click on orange, click on duplicate, bring it down and I'm going to specify the coordinates negative 50 and negative 120. All right. I'm going to name this yellow and I'm going to click on the rectangle again, click on fill, and then I'm going to drag the first color slider a little bit to the right. So I'm going to set it to maybe color 16, something like that. Okay. So I have a yellow button. Then I'm going to duplicate this as well. Bring it down, name it green. Specify the coordinates zero and negative 120. And then click on the rectangle inside on fill. And then I'm going to drag the first letter in the green zone. So something like this. And because the this green is too bright, I'm going to drag the third slider, the brightness one a little bit down. So something like this, maybe. All right, so we have a green color, then duplicate that, bring it down. I'm going to specify X equals 50 and Y the same and negative 120. So they're all aligned. Click on the rectangle, drag the slider up for the color in the blue zone. And I'm going to make this a little bit brighter. So something like that, maybe. And when you're satisfied, click outside. So we have a blue selector. I'm going to name the sprite blue. Then I'm going to duplicate it. 
bring it down. I'm going to put in the coordinates 100 for x and negative 120 for y. I'm going to name this indigo and click on the blue rectangle and fill it with a very dark, very dark blue, a little bit towards purple maybe. So this is the indigo color from the rainbow. All right. And then we are going to duplicate it again for violet, which is the last color of the rainbow. The coordinates here are going to be 150 for X and negative 120 for Y. So all the buttons are aligned. I'm going to name the sprite violet. Click on the color rectangle inside and I'm going to drag the slider until this shows this purple color. All right, so we have all the colors in the rainbow over here. Let's go to the next video where we finish setting up the sprites and the backdrop for this paint application.